fast. If you're like me, you're thoroughly impressed with the C8's performance. It's zero to 60, is advertised under three seconds, which is shocking uh, for only about 500 horsepower, right? But what if I told you that the car's zero to 60 monitor or tracker is not accurate at all? And hold up, I mean, you're probably thinking, yeah, there's no way, you know, it can't be 100%, but I think it's way off. So because we're not sure if that's accurate or not, and we want to determine whether it is, we picked ourselves up a draggy. So a draggy works by pinpointing satellites or using GPS data to calculate um, from point A to point B uh, and then the amount of time, right? So time over distance, in this case, we want to do time versus speed or speed versus time. So, um, and I know what you're thinking, like this, this could be, inaccurate too and i agree with you this could be inaccurate so now i will caveat this with i do need rear tires um there's three thousand miles on these tires but they're the all season tires and and they're terrible uh so for the first one it says 3.6 0 to 60. while the draggy says 4.0 so this is inaccurate. So the second pass was 3.4 seconds, 0 to 60, which doesn't seem that fast, uh, according to this, because usually this thing is way lower, but we'll keep messing with it. And the draggy on that same pass was 3.75, so a little closer. Okay, ESC competitive mode, track. I'm gonna reset the performance timer. And let's give it another go. we got 3.2 seconds so the competitive ESC mode with uh, track mode for your drive selector over here it's definitely faster the draggy let's see those got 3.5 to 0 to 60 so again that's 0.3 of a second off we'll do another couple just to see Point one seconds. Three point one five. So I'm gonna reset it just to be safe. We'll do one more. All right. So the car is saying three point one seconds again, and the draggy is saying three point six eight. So there you go. There's your evidence. So as far as accuracy goes of the draggy, uh, we did a little research, it's within 0 0.04 of a second. So 400th of a second in relation to the top three measurement devices used at drag strip. Yep, so there you have it, the car versus reality. Um, it, it, it makes you really proud, it really does, because this is a quick car, but at the same time, it's not that fast. So um, if you wanna make your C8 faster, I, the number one thing I would recommend is throwing a, a tread wear rating of 100 to 200 on the rear. That, that's going to be your fastest 0 to 60, your fastest quarter mile right there over doing an exhaust, doing headers, uh, anything short of forced induction. So once you go forced induction, you add that 150 to 200 horsepower, the car's a whole different animal. Uh, but if you're just looking to you know get those, those 0 to 60s down, put better tires on the rear. Um, and then get yourself a draggy or go to an actual drag strip and and get the actual data. Um, don't don't just trust the car because obviously you, you can't just trust the car and that that sucks, but you know it is what it is. Unfortunately it can't 
uh, calculate based on the wide variety of variables that change from vehicle to vehicle. So in this case, if you really wanna measure it, go to a drag strip, get a draggy, find a device that's gonna calculate that to get the most accurate representation of what that zero to 60 is. With that said, the fastest uh, times that we got with the draggy were pretty quick for a bad tire because I really do have a terrible set of tires on the rear of this car. Uh, but with you know some sticky tires, you know those numbers are going to decrease that zero to sixty in that quarter mile, and that that'll be in a future video because we actually got draggies for something else we're filming. But um, you know, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. Uh, Take this lightly, you know, I'm not dogging on the C8. I love the C8, but uh, that that uh, performance monitor, or the zero to six monitor, it's, it's not all what it looks to be in it, and that sucks. You know, I wish it was a little bit more accurate.